Hi everybody, this is Shane R. Monroe with NVIDIA Shield Zone. We're going to show you how to export APK files to your Google Drive account. This makes it easier for you to transfer them to, say, your NVIDIA Shield Android TV. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to install um, a tool called ES File Man uh, Explorer, rather, Explorer File Manager. This is pretty much the one-stop shop for everything you're going to need to do today. Again, there's a million different ways you could be doing this. This is just one that's simple and easy. Of course, you will have to have a Google Drive account. However, using these techniques, you could probably use Dropbox or any other number of techniques as well. All right, so when you install, they tell you how to use their silly thing. Just tap the screen a couple of times. All right, so... I'm going to collapse this favorites. I'm going to collapse all of these, actually, just to make it a little easier to follow along. All right, so the first thing you need to do is make sure any of the applications you want the APKs for are already installed on your device. We're going to assume that that's the case. So if you go into Library and App, all of the applications that you have currently installed on your Android device will show up here. That's why I said you probably want to make sure they're already installed. Right? <clears throat> Under Network and Cloud, you're going to need to add yourself your Google account, or they call it G Drive. So you're going to need to log in. Sometimes this thing messes up. You just have to assume you know that it's asking for your password. I'm not sure why that is. But it is. And of course, uh, two step authentication for anybody who's smarter than a box of rocks. All right, perfect. Yes, give File Explorer the rights to do whatever they want. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Poof. Now we have our Google account tied to ES File Explorer. Perfect. Now let's go back to our library where our apps are, and let's select a few items that we might want to move over that are not available through Shield TV's Play Store. And these sort of things might include, let's see, so far a lot of these, maybe Geometry Wars, that's not available. Um, if you had wanted to move a browser over, right, so you could grab your Chrome here, move that over since there is no browser built in. Oh, what else do we want? I guess we could try like Google Music. Got a subscription to that. Maybe Moon Reader. You want to read some books on your TV. Who knows? Nimble Quest, one of my favorites. A C6, an N64 emulator. Um... Shine Runner, one of my favorite games. And some pinball. What we're going to do now is hit backup. And that's going to back up. We've got a few of these already in here. Did I say apply to all? This is going to back up all of the APKs. And now you'll see that it put it in SD card backups. APK. So let's go back to local, go to our device, SD card, backups, apps. So those are all of our APK files. So we're going to go ahead and just grab all of these. We're going to hit copy. We're going to go to network, cloud, go to our cloud, go to APKs, and we are going to paste. And off they go. Now one possibility is 
that some people may try that doesn't work out very well is you could try to share directly to your Google Drive as part of the extracting the APKs. Unfortunately, for some reason, it names them all base.apk, and there's no way to rename them as it's copying them over, so you really figure out that you can't do it that way. It's a shame because that would be cool, but this is really the easiest way. Just export the APKs, save them to the backup drive, use the backup feature, and that copies them all over, and which at which point then you can copy them over to your Google Drive. This takes a few minutes, so we'll probably speed the video up here and get through this. And then we'll take you through uh, restoring one of these guys on your Shield Android TV using your Google account and, of course, using ES uh, File Explorer File Manager on your Shield Android TV. And we're back right here on the Android TV. We have already have ES File Explorer installed, so we're going to go ahead and open that guy up. And we already have our Google account set up over here. So I'm going to go ahead and open that guy up. I'm going to go to the APKs folder where I saved everything. And the files that I've sent over, well, some of them are still coming. But the files I send over, the APK files, are here awaiting my good cheer. So let's take a look at NimbleQuest, right? It's one of my favorite games. It's controller friendly. It's just not available on the Shield Android TV Google Play Store. So all I'm going to do is just select that guy. It's going to download the APK. It's going to ask me if I want to install it, which I do. If you get asked this, you're going to want to do a package installer. And we'll say install. This should look fairly familiar to you. And after a moment or two, we will have our install. Now remember, side-loaded APKs like these rarely show up in the uh, layback launcher uh, or leanback launcher front end that Shield Android TV uses. So in order to get to it, you'll need to use the side load launcher, which we already have installed. So we're going to open that up. And anything that's compatible, I don't know why all of my animals have to make noise while I'm recording, but they do. All right, so um, there it is. There's NimbleQuest along with anything else that might be recognized as a side loaded APK. So let's see if NimbleQuest actually works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know how to play the game. Ah, 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 ah. Trying to see if I can get past these without swiping. Oh, there we go. Just have to use the analog. All right. So this looks uh, this looks one hundred percent playable. Perfect. So now we've successfully sideloaded a game onto Shield Android TV that wasn't necessarily meant to be there, but it obviously plays just fine. So repeat this process to install um, other tools like an FTP server, which I'll probably look at in another tutorial, uh, that will get you um, easily transferring files to and from your Android TV. All right, that's enough of that. All right, that's pretty much it. And then you just wash, rinse, and repeat for any of the other APKs that you want. Remember, these are located on your Google Drive at this point. So go to your cloud, wherever you stashed your APKs. There's an N64 emulator. I'm going to pull that down. Yep, we'll install that. Let me set package installer as default. 
and we are done. Let's open that guy up. All right, it's doing a little uh, blah blah blah. Help us out, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. See how it plays. A quick game. Restart. Sorry, those are ferrets, by the way. No, we still have the overlay. I guess we can get rid of that. Hmm. I think this game's not going to load. Yeah, first game we tried. Anyway, so um, there you go. Another side, uh, another great side-loaded uh, item that's available under the side-load launcher. There you go. You can side load pretty much anything you want. Um, remember, not everything, of course, will work. Um, oh, you know what I'm really curious about is that pinball game. Let's see if that actually came in okay. If this will actually work. Zen Pinball, uh, of course, is available through the store, um, but Pinball Arcade is not. I'm starting to think that that... Uh, N64 emulator is not happy since that thing is still there. Downloading some resources. So far, so good. All right. Come on. Hurry up, meow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, sweet. Do I have some means of selecting? No. So this is another one of those great titles that require some sort of a touch control. And unfortunately, the touchpad on the controller doesn't work at this point in time. However, um, you can, of course, hook a mouse up to it to do this, or you could use a Nyko controller in mouse mode, right? You could use that as well. Uh, but that's the sort of challenge that you're going to get with side-loading titles. Some things don't have a completely clean joystick interface. Well, there you go. There's uh, the complete front-to-back, top-to-bottom, side-loading your own APKs onto Shield Android TV quickly and easily using the ES File Explorer File Manager. This is Shane Armand Rowe, NVIDIA Shield Zone. Check us out. We have YouTube. We've got a uh, Google collection. We've got the whole bit. NVIDIAShieldZone.com. Come check us out. This is Shane Armonroe. We'll see you next time.